I used to be a Nick fan. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I stopped being a Nick fan that night where you were taken out of Madison Square Garden. Okay. I just I can't I can't root for that team yeah. anymore. Yeah. And um, I I was so angry. Yeah. So angry to see you taken out by Madison Square yeah. Garden security. What the hell happened that night? It was a hit. That's all I can say. I was there for maybe seven minutes. I got there with me, with me and three other guys. We walked down the steps, and um, I went to the Thurman Monson Foundation dinner the night before. Okay. So I did that three or four times, you know. And uh, the next, the guy said, "You going to the game?" I said, "No." He said, "We got extra tickets." I said, "I go with y'all." So I met him across the street from the guard. We come in down the steps. I sit down. Girl, come ask me what you want to drink. I said, "I want a Pepsi and some popcorns." By the time she bring them back in two minutes, I was there about eight minutes, and then like I said, I know it's eight guys surrounding me. Like, you got to leave. I'm like, for what? I have a ticket. You got to leave. And I said, no, I'm not leaving. Then they started grabbing on me. I said, don't grab on me. And I said, oh, if you watch it, you can hear it all loud and clear. And they say one thing happened. I slipped down and fell, and a few more guys came, and they took me in the back, da da da. And next thing I know, down there, they put the handcuffs on me. Handcuffed you? Handcuffs. So then, okay, before the before we get to that, so at any point in time, you know, when they came f to grab you and mm -hmm. took you, did did Dolan ever James Dolan, the owner of the Knicks, right. did he ever look in your direction? Did he, he was looking back? He, knew he what saw was, what was going on. It was a hit. Cause why we watched the tape? I don't know because I don't dance to his music. He like. Um, I like Rick James. He like Fly and Simon Stone. I like uh, Luther. He like uh, Patty the Bell. But my thing was. Well, he likes JD in the straight shot, actually. Yeah. That's, <laughs> man, they throw cans at them. But no. Uh, <laughs> so we watched the tape. Yeah. And you can see, like, it was a timeout or something. The security guard would go over there and talk to him. Mm -hmm. So after the timeout, he go back to his stand, to his station. Mm -hmm. Then he. Then something else happened, a, a dead ball foul. He walked over there and talked to him again. Security guard talked Security to him again. Security guard. Uh -huh. So he go back to stand behind the bench. Then you can see him in the in the tape we got, he giving the, the guy a signal. He's like, go, go, go. I mean, he's like, go get bro, him. Yeah, go go, go speak to him or go what have you. Like to huh? he wanted why does he want you out of there? Like what I, I don't know. He don't he don't like me because I, he said I said something in the paper. But he's trying to tell in the court that I hollered at him. I'm like, John McEnroe sitting right here. If you go, how am I holler at you in 20,000 people? I ain't like I came to the game early, walked past and said, hey, you big head. No. <laughs> I come in, went straight to my seat. And he just he just got it out for me. So after that happened, so basically they take me downstairs, put the cuffs on my go to the pre seat. Da da da, this and that happened. Here come Phil Jackson. Oh, what happened? What I happened? Ask your boss. Then World West come. Like I got MJ on the phone. I said, I'm I'm handcuffed. <laughs> I mean, put him on speaker. So hold on a second. <laughs> so all right, Phil Jackson uh -huh. went to the police precinct. No, no, he okay. came from a seat. To okay, the from back a seat of the to the back of the arena where you are now being held in right. handcuffs. Yeah, in Madison Square Garden. Yeah. And he's like, what's and and so what happened next? He like. What's going on? I said, ask your boss. And then World Wide West coming. I got Michael Jordan on the phone. I said, I'm handcuffed. I said, put him on speaker. You know, it was just funny the way I said it. But mm -hmm. so <laughs> then they, you know, I, I said, get these damn handcuffs off me. I just started cussing. And then next thing you know, they put me in, the, in the, take me across the street. So I get there. They take the handcuffs off me. And they're like, what happened? I said, it's just a crazy incident. They said, you want some meat? They ordered me a pizza. So I went back to the sale. I went in the sale. You were in a cell that night? Yeah. I, I mean, was, I heard that, but I, I, yeah. I can't. Wh wh how did Jordan get on the phone? Uh, World West had called him and Fields, I guess. So what did Jordan say? I didn't get a chance to talk to him. I told him, <laughs> I said something funny. I said, I said, tell him to come and get me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm talk. I ain't no talk, come and get me. <laughs> so about 12, 30, 1 o'clock, they let me out. Two guys from Long Island, I know. He was a cop. Another guy, like a guy from the hedge fund group. They came and got me out. And um, I did an interview that night. It was just, it was just crazy. I mean, my thing is, I had never met him before. His dad, I met his dad. They, they from Cleveland. I'm from Cleveland. Dolan. Yes. The family. They grew up right? like five minutes from me in Cleveland. 
So, well, in your book, there's a, a, an account about you and Dolan during an NBA All Star weekend in New Orleans, New Orleans prior. Is that where that's from? This no, might be ain't from? from because I, I, I. So we in New Orleans. I think mm-hmm. it's the. 2014, 2007, 14, yeah. 2014, we in New Orleans. I'm with LeBron, Maverick, the whole crew, because they from Cleveland. And uh, we were just in that room, just messing around. So here come World Wide West. He walks from out the back. You know, something happened with, they click, like Rich Paul and West. Rich Paul's from Cleveland. So yes. something had happened. So he don't he don't speak to West at all. So LeBron being a pro, he'd speak to him, Maverick, whatever. So he said, oh, I'm back there. With, I said, I'm in the back with uh, with the guy from Nick. I said, who? He said, uh, I'm with the owner. Come and meet him. I said, okay. So me and my friend Jacob, we walk in the back. This is James Dolan, yeah, the owner. This, you and know, you had never met him before? Never met him. This never. is just before in, in New Orleans, huh? But yeah, this is also, okay, I never but, met him. Because when I was there, the dad was the, in charge. Right, okay. So I'm walking back with Wes. He said, uh, Mr. Dolan, this is Mr. Oakley. He said, I met him. This is like me sitting here. He don't turn around or nothing. I met him. And then it's that. So I'm like, Wes, what's going on? He said, he met you. His man ain't met me. So my mind was, should I hit him in the head? <laughs> Swear to God. Uh, should I hit him in the head? I, I mean, so I'm like, man, you brought me back here? He said, he met you. He ain't meet me, man. I mean, I'm a lie about if I met him. Like, really? but won't, he, won't he just be a gentleman anyway? He just stand up and say, how you doing, Mr. Oakley? And so my, my guy with me, like, man, he's kind of rude, ain't he? I said, yeah. He don't. He must. He don't like me. So, it just. It's just. I don't know. A small man complex. Uh, you know. I don't know what his problem is. But he do the same thing over and over to people. I mean, as you check his record out, he got a lot of incidents on it by dealing with. He don't deal with people good. Well, Charles Oakley, I I I, I saw this and I'm like, I can't. I can't root for this team anymore. I can I see. Just, I can't. I just can't. I can see if I would have did something. I mean, walk, I wouldn't even, only t- I was sitting behind him. I ain't, I can see if I walk in front of him, so you big head, or either, just, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I, I wouldn't like four rows. Then he tells him I was sitting too close to him. Somebody said, you knew what you were sitting. No, I didn't. I didn't know where the guys had the tickets at. I mean, I've been to many games and bought tickets and sit three yeah, or four rows, but I don't know. He just had it out for me. shouldn't matter. Char- you're Charles Oakley. You're Charles mm-hmm. Oakley. You were part of one of the greatest times in the history of the New York Knicks. Yeah, but and yeah. you know, and and the owner of the New York Knicks should welcome no. you. He, well, like, he, is it because you were critical of him and the team I don't vocally? The team ain't did nothing. I mean, he's he just a, he's a control freak. He's a real big control freak. So, basically, like guys who work for him, they can't do interviews with people. Besides, they have to know what the question is. It's just a control thing. He's real controlling. You have no idea, Charles. I mean, you guys could tell him, right? Like, uh, there's something here called the Dolan wormhole, okay? It's like the gravitational force mm-hmm. in the universe. Mm-hmm. Anytime this man's name comes up, I can't, I, I get pulled right in. I get so livid and he so He starts angry. to shake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, but I don't, I, but my thing is, like, I can see, like, I, I, if I would have said, I would have man up. I would have told everybody, like, everybody came to my rescue. But I would have, if I was wrong, I was still up and, Times Square, somewhere in Central Park, and just had a press conference. Like, I was wrong. I said something to this guy. I ain't said nothing to him. That's what makes it so bad. You know, he just he just had it out for me. So, what's the future? Is there anyone? Is so, there, is this there... is what happened after that. A week, about a week later. So, Michael Jordan, Commission, myself. So we got together. Oh. I'm going to retire your jersey. Come, we played in Indiana about two weeks. You can come sit beside me. I'm like, no, no, this is what I'm going to have. So they had, they had a bowling event this night. Mm-hmm. He said, well, you can walk into bowling with me and make everybody see us together. I'm like, are you see what just happened? My family seen this and you handcuffs and you treat me like a, a runaway, whatever, back in the old days. And you want me to come sit beside you? Hey, then he went from that to like, in two weeks, we play the Pacers. You can come. We have everything. Red carpet. I'm like, you just feeling you guilty right there. Why you want to do all this for me now? If you ain't, if 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 you know, if you're not wrong. So there is no future there, huh? There's no future there. There's no. Future. I don't know. I'm waiting to see. Yeah, but you know, I've what been, did what did Ewing have to say about all this? He, well, this ha- that happened 2007. What 17? He just yeah. said something about five months ago. Nothing. I played with him ten years. I had his back. They offered him a D-lead job about seven years ago. I spoke, how are you going to offer a guy who played for you 15 years a D-lead job? 
But, you know, I, he, I, that hurt me when he didn't speak up for me. I mean, if I know somebody, play, especially in, in sports, you can play 10 years with somebody, you should be able to know them and know what they stand for. And he didn't, he didn't do that. He, he didn't put his big boy pants on. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.